Oh my gosh, so much, right? So, um, I just burned my tongue, and if this camera was of any quality, I would totally show you where it, show you where I burned it. But since it's not, you probably can't see it. I don't even know. Oh, well, I can't see. I don't even know if there is anything to see. It just burned really bad. I'm drinking some sleepy time tea, which is kind of dumb because, in all honesty, I ain't got time for sleepy time. Who does? Um, like, seriously, let me show you something. I have, this is my, like, little paper O, like, getting organized. I have a le two letters I have to write and send out. Um, four, five blogs I have to write. My church blog, um, which I love doing, but it takes time because I like to make sure I do it right. And then... I have lesson plans down here. A bunch of lesson plans I have to do. Like, seriously. It's a crazy, crazy day. It's going to be a long night. That's okay. Um, but I came here today, just now, in the middle of the night, to tell you guys. I put a video up earlier, actually. Was it today? I think it was. Oops. It was the uh, Back to Football 5K video. But I'm putting another one up because. I did a grocery haul. I know, right? Now I'm gonna talk to you a bit about what you're gonna see uh, when you come back, and uh, we'll we'll figure it out. So here we go. Don't judge it too harshly. 80 calorie frozen Greek yogurt, and this is coconut, and I got two of them because it was buy one get one free. Um, and then I have I've been craving lasagna, but have not been in the mood to make it. So I got two um, Lasagna Florentine Smart Ones. I'm going to give this a try. I figure I can make one with a salad. That'd be a nice little fun little lunch. Uh, three cheese, spinach, pretzel bread, lean pocket. Then I have uh, Lean Cuisine. A, uh, and you know, rice and beans, Santa Fe. Butternut squash. Um, lemon pepper fish. These guys I usually do at like with a salad on the side, just you know to keep it fresh. Um, I have a shrimp Alfredo, a shrimp angel hair pasta, and this is really good. And I'm gonna I'm this is the only flavor my grocery store had, but I'm gonna look for the other flavors. A lemongrass salmon, and I got a bunch of frozen strawberries for smoothies and snacks. Okay, stir fried vegetable medley. Got two of those. I got two packs of three. They're not small, but they're not like the extra large portobello caps. Cauliflower, two, or cauliflower, two, roast later. I've never done that, but I'm going to try. Fiber one um, cereal. I really like this cereal. It's very filling, uh, but also kind of snacky. So, you know, almond breeze. Um, milk, some skim milk. Uh, this is, you know, obviously some muffins. Is that English muffins? Is that what they're called? Light fiber, multigrain. Okay, so um, radishes, because I love snacking on radishes. It's almost like a, because they have a bite, so you can't just eat and eat and eat, but they, I like them. Um, a big old, look at how big that is, a big old eggplant. I'm going to make some um, lasagna type, you know, meals that I've made in the past, but without noodles, using eggplant instead. Uh, this is the off-brand sweetener, obviously. Um, and then I got spicy tomato basil, which is a new flavor for me. I got, and that's because I'm going to be making some things like that. Um, some Classico Bruschetta Basil and Tomato, which is awesome. And I picked up this. It's zero calorie tomato and basil pasta sauce. And it's kind of like, okay, y'all. I love these, um, some of the salad dressings, but like the, the peanut butter is like a no. So I was like, well, we'll give it a try just for days when you want, you know, other things that are higher in calories. We'll see. I don't know how it'll go. I'll let you know. It'll be a review. <gasps> a review vlog! How fun.
sorry, you guys were uh, looking at the groceries and I was drinking tea. So, um, alright. I don't even know where to start. Let's just start. Uh, let's start with the calorie free thought. Do I think it's a good idea to replace everything in your world with calorie free? Uh, no. I don't. Uh, in fact, I really like the hearty sauces. Uh, the spicy sauce that I have is a 50 calorie half of a cup. And the reason I like it is because I add a lot of veggies to my sauces. Lots of veggies on top of spaghetti squash. So it's a veggie on top of veggies on top of veggies with red sauce. Great. Um, so, there you go. It was just interesting. I, I really like their, um, honey mustard type, honey Dijon mustard type, uh, salad dressing. So, you know, it was just something. So I decided to pick it up. Now, let's talk B size real quick while we're here. Pizza? Um, they had blackberry, no, no, they had blueberry, oh, it's on the slide. Raspberry, mango, strawberry, blueberry, and vanilla bean. I did not see the vanilla bean, but I would not have bought it because vanilla bean is a flavor that I know will make me want to eat more and more and more. Um, just because I've had vanilla bean Greek yogurt before, and it's like, oh my god, just like drown me because I just want to go die head first. Anyway, so um, I got the coconut. I try to stay away. Like I don't like mango. I'm not gonna say I don't. I don't. I really kind of don't like mango flavors. Mangoes and blueberries, and I, I mean, mango and raspberry, I really like the flavors. Um, blueberry can be okay. Strawberry and vanilla, too, too candy. So, coconut was my option, and I really was pleased with it. It had an ice cream-ish type texture. It had chunks of, not chunks, but like pulp, the pulp of like actual. It wasn't too sweet. It was good. I really liked it. I was able to eat it and it didn't sugar anything else, which is just amazing and beautiful. Thank you, God. So, yeah. Um, fun. If you have them around, I suggest checking them out. Very, very good. Uh, six grams of protein. Kind of a lot of sugar at 12 grams, but you know, it's a sweet snack when you need one. All right, so now let's talk about the meals. Mmm, the frozen meals. I'm all about cooking for yourself. So why frozen meals? Well, I believe that when things are hard, we need to make them easy. Like, there might be the perfect way of doing things, and then there's the easy and still good way of doing things. And that's kind of what frozen meals are for me. They're not perfect, but they're not bad. And they're easy. Okay. I have nine, nine meals. Um, so theoretically, nine meal times that I, OMG, a bug. Sorry about that. Okay. Nine, I feel like, I feel like my house is being consumed by, by bugs. Like, I don't know if it's the time of year or whatever, but it's like there are spiders freaking everywhere and beetles and stuff and it's just horrifying. Horrifying. So anyway, um they are okay, nine meals. So theoretically speaking, nine meals. Whether it's lunches or dinners. Um but you know, I have enough food in the house, like fresh foods and stuff, but I don't even need to use them. Unless of course and that's another thing. I have five cats. The cats are fired. If they can't kill the bugs, they're fired. Anyway. So. <sighs> meals. Yes. Nine. There we go. Um, two weeks of dinners. You know, something like that. But I have enough food to cook. Um, now, sometimes, this, and this is another reason why I have them. Okay. There are certain situations where that is the best option for me. Um, like, 
when the family is eating something I don't want to eat and I don't feel like either cooking for myself, uh, or, or like, you know, especially when I want to eat what they're eating. Like there's certain things that, dishes that are not necessarily unhealthy, but they will trigger me. White rice will trigger me sometimes, depending on what sauce and stuff it's with. So it's like, I don't want to eat that, but I'm angry about not wanting to eat it. So I don't, I'm kind of throwing my own fit. I don't want to go cook my own stuff. It's good to have a meal. Look, I have an alternative. I have a yummy, delicious alternative that I can have. Great. Um, that's, you know, one situation. Another situation is, I told you guys, I will forget to eat. So if it gets down to being like late and I'm like, I don't feel like cooking anything. It's kind of a way of being like, well, that doesn't get you to just not have to eat that. You have to eat to get the food. Um, another situation <laughs> is when I am trying to use as little calories as possible. Like, like I'm just going to eat nothing but grass today. Like, you know, I'm just going to eat nothing but iceberg lettuce. Um, it's kind of like a no. You know, like in those times, making myself cook and consume continually make the decision to eat something I don't want to eat and to and to like work for something I don't even want to achieve is a very hard thing. So having a meal on hand where I just pop it in the microwave and it's like, you know what? You have to eat at least two hundred and fifty calories or whatever's in it, then there you go, you know? Um so it's just kind of a way of combating those things. And it's also nice when you're craving something like I don't have it yet. Like, I've been craving lasagna, but not feeling like making it. So I have lasagnas now. And I, um, like, there's times, usually, uh, I'll pick up, like, a pizza one. There's another duck. A pizza. So it's like, alright, if y'all want pizza, or if I want pizza, I can go make myself one, or Chinese food, or any of those type of situations. I just kind of think that they're a good idea, because they're kind of like having an emergency, like a patch, like a nicotine patch, you know? So, um, and my deal was that I was like, okay, I'll buy myself nuts, get like a week and a half, and I'll plan them for dinner, so I'm not having to think about dinner, um, after a workout, you know, and then once I had them in the house, I like really don't know if it was just knowing I had them or not, but suddenly I'm very inspired to, to cook and stuff, it's like, like knowing that there's a backup plan takes the pressure off. Um, and it might also just be because I'm doing really well right now. And that's my fourth day of feeling good and in control. And that's a big deal. So, um, on the ninth, my Zumba, uh, gym, it's like a, you know, the, the Zumba place. So, um, they are doing something, to, uh, it's a, like, get fit type challenge and it starts on the ninth and it goes 30 day challenge and uh i'm excited about that because i don't feel like it's going to give me a sense of com camaraderie like that that's missing since i don't go to weight watchers meetings but i'm also trying to get that back here obviously maybe more videos but anyway time you guys yay so i think that that's going to be a good thing and i feel really good and i think that as i amp up like since you guys know i've been struggling with higher calorie amounts um, I think if I coincide higher calorie amounts with more ferocious workouts, I would feel better about it. So that's kind of my tentative plan. I just don't know yet. Giant spider! I can't. I can't. That's the end of this grocery haul. It's the end. I'm going to get a fly swatter and every time I bug spray I can find because I cannot do this.